Virgos, welcome to your July 2019 general reading. This reading is going to apply to Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. If you don't know your Moon and Rising Sign, check the link down in my description. You can enter your birthday, time of birth, and you will get your Moon and Rising Signs. So I hope, um, actually I encourage that you guys really check out those videos as well after watching this one, just so you can get more clarity into the month of July. And also, in case some of the messages here don't resonate, because this is a general reading for the collective, so everything may not resonate. So take the messages that do resonate with you, and you can let the rest go, okay? All right, Virgos, um, if you're new to my channel, I always encourage the viewers to comment their birthdays down in the comments section and represent the Virgo gang. See if you could find your birthday twin as well. <clears throat> And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue shuffling. I'll fast forward that part so we can keep the video short. And when I come back, we're going to go through all the cards together, okay? Okay, Virgo, so this is going to be your spread for the month of July 2019. If you are on Instagram, so am I. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name should be down below in the description. And um, if you guys want to do a private reading with me, definitely hit up my website. The link is also in my description. You can purchase a reading there. And then I'll get back to you and we can do the reading like that, okay? So, Virgos, let's get into your reading. I'm seeing here that July is actually going to be a very positive month for you guys, depending on how you use the energy here, okay? There is a strong energy here with the Sun card. This is the, the card or the energy that's crossing you right now, the most positive card of the deck. This talks about happiness, bringing illumination to things. Um, I do see a lot of releasing, okay? You're, you're releasing a lot this month. And that's going to help you get over some type of situation that you've been mourning over for a while. Um, I feel as if you've been focused on the things that you've lost or the things that you don't have rather than focusing on what you do have. So this is going to be a good time to set your intention and to trust that things are going to work out for you or things are going to turn out very positive for you in the month of July because you have that sun card there, which is saying that you are going to have a happy outcome, all right? I don't have an outcome card here yet, but the sun card does bring illumination. It brings light to situations, all right? And it also brings a lot of positivity with it. Um, you do have the devil card here. You have a lot of major arcana, actually. You have the devil card representing Capricorn. You have the empress, which some um, associate with Taurus. You do have the sun card, which will represent Leo. You do have air energy here with the Page of Swords, so that could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? And you also have some water elements, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but very heavy earth, I'm getting. You guys this month, you're looking pretty good, okay? You have the Nine of Pentacles here and also the Empress, which are two great signs of a lot of abundance, a lot of independence, a lot of feeling very much worthy of the the rewards you've gained or the things that are happening. You just feel very independent, like fiercely independent this month, and you have a lot going for yourself as well, okay? Now, you do have in your environment the Page of Pentacles. You have two pages here. So this talks about delivering news, news coming in, okay? Maybe you're waiting for some type of news. The universe is saying to trust that that news will be coming in soon. But until that time, to remain positive, to remain hopeful, that things are going to turn out good for you. All right? But also, when I see this card here, to me, this is like planting a seed. And the Page of Pentacles is holding that seed here, which is the Pentacle. And I did pull three cards from the Wisdom of the Golden Path Oracle deck, and one of them was Intention. So you really want to start setting your intentions, Okay? For this seed that you're going to be planting very soon because you're going to have an opportunity here to get something that you really, really want. You have the Nine of Cups here, which talks about wishes coming true, um, gaining something that means a lot to you, all right, and being very proud of what you've achieved. I do see a lot of pride here. So some of you could be achieving something very big in the month of July, 
All right. Either way, you need to start focusing and thinking about your intentions for all of these good things that are coming into your life. So if it's money, what do you want to use that money for? What do you want to set the intentions for, for anything positive that's going to be coming your way? So don't waste this time and not have a plan for how to use all of this, you know, all of these good things that are going to be coming to you very soon. The other cards that you have here offering guidance is space clearing, okay? Which you are doing so here with the Four of Pentacles. You are clearing the space. You are clearing any negative energy, anything that you've been thinking about, okay? This, you do have the devil here, which talks about on your mind, you have this feeling of, I wouldn't necessarily say being trapped, but feeling, I feel like a commitment is very heavy on your mind or something that you are committed to, all right? And you are trying to... Bring in a lighter energy. I feel like you've been very much focused on work, not enough, you know, happy times. You haven't really been able to enjoy the summer as much as you would like to. And that's because you've been so committed and so focused on either a commitment, a contract, an obligation, something that you feel very much tied to. But you are doing some space clearing here where you're deciding to kind of focus more on yourself, focus more on your goals, focus more on your money. Sorry about that. <laughs> Focus more on your future, okay? And what you're going to do with all of these good things that are going to be coming. And the other card you have here is trust. So you need to trust that you are on the right path. You need to trust that the things are going to turn out good for you. You've already done the hard part of speaking your mind, you know, with the Page of Swords here, delivering messages, Okay, letting go of things that you were holding close to your chest or things that have been on your chest for a while. And also being able to move out of this morning stage into a more positive, happy, jovial energy with the sun card, which is great. All right, so if you've been feeling a little bit down, July, you know, mid to end of July, you should start to feel a little bit happier. You should start to feel as if you have ideas for the future. You are getting closer to goals that you want to achieve. You are going to, many of you may want to enroll back in school or to pursue something that could, you know, be like a startup as well, like a startup company. But you guys are just feeling very much optimistic about what the, re the rest of the year has for you. So it's a good energy to have for sure in the month of July going through the remainder of the year, okay? And then your season will be coming up soon as well. So definitely plant your seeds now. This way, by the time your season rolls by, you'll start to see them manifesting here with the Empress card. All right, because I feel like you guys are going to start to feel like everything that you invest your time in, everything that you touch is going to turn to gold in a way. And it's going to be successful. It's going to grow. Anything that you put your energy towards, you're going to be able to really make it grow this month and the months to follow. Okay. Right, Virgo. So that's going to be your general reading. I'm going to continue this reading over at Vimeo. And on Vimeo, we're going to clarify a lot of these cards. Um, we're also going to pull an outcome card for the month of July to see how the month is going to wrap up. And we'll pull some cards for advice. Okay, so if you want to join me on Vimeo, the link is down in the description. And if I don't see you on Vimeo, then I will see you guys in the August video. Take care.